Welcome back to Sparkle's Kitchen. Today we're making the favorite jollof rice and I will be showing you the ingredients I'm using in today's recipe. I've got my rice, my basmati easy cook rice and I've got my bell pepper, I've got my tomato puree and I've got my bell pepper, I've got my tomatoes, onions, I've got my chicken stock. I'm using some thyme in this recipe i'm using some curry powder some scotch bonnet and yes i've got my bay leaf as well and i've got tomatoes to use for later and i've got my bay leaf right there and i'm gonna use some oil as well in this recipe and i've got my chicken stock and my salt to taste so head over to the recipe section and you can see the exact measurements that I'm using in today's recipe. So let's get cooking. And I'm using some fresh ginger. I love putting fresh ginger in my cooking. It just gives it a beautiful taste and it's healthy. So blend your pepper together. So <clears throat> blend all your red um, pepper, your tomatoes, your onions. Blend together and bring to boil that's what you want to do so what you want to do is just put it on and then bring that to boil so i've got right in there my ginger my bell pepper my scotch bonnet my onions my tomatoes i've blended that together and i'm just gonna bring it to boil and reduce it by half so let's get cooking i've got my onions and i'm just going to dice my onions and get it ready to go so like i said jollof rice is a nice delicacy in the nigerian household and honestly it's a favorite meal that the kids cannot get enough of so it's a go-to at any point in time and today i'm just showing you my own recipe my favorite recipe and my way of cooking my jollof rice people cook this jollof rice differently in different ways so but this is one of my favorite recipe and i stick to that most of the time i'm just gonna slice my tomatoes i'm using these tomatoes to garnish for later so i'm just gonna slice my tomatoes and just keep it to use in the cooking for later So there you go. So I'm ready to cook and I'm going to just eat up my oil in my cooking pot and I'm just going to eat that up and let it just heat up really, really high. And yes, that's eating up your oil. And like I said, all the ingredients I'm, I've used in today's recipe will be on my recipe session so you can actually see the exact amount of ingredients i've used in the recipe section so just gonna fry off my onions and what i want to do is just to sweat it off so it's, you don't want it to burn i'm gonna add my thyme and i'm going to add my curry powder and i'm just going to let it fry and the aroma you get from frying off this beautiful ingredient is just so amazing so i've got my bay leaf in there as well and i'm just gonna fry it off and i'm using my chicken cube to just season this at this stage that's the only seasoning i'm going to add in again with the thyme and the curry powder so just let it fry off and the smell right now is just amazing it gives your jollof rice that jollof rice smoky taste so this is what you want is like a base taste for your jollof rice because you're releasing all the flavor from this ingredients that you're frying off and this is what you want so just let this fry off and yes we're gonna add the boiled pepper remember your boiled pepper so just add that and just fry that off nicely 
and as you can see it's just sizzling away and it's frying away nicely so just gonna add all of my boiled pepper And as you can see, is frying nicely, just what you want. And the, the smell, the aroma is just something beautiful. Oh, really nice. It fills the hair and, you know, you know you're cooking jollof rice because the aroma is so really nice. And it makes you salivate. you ready. I'm just going to add my tomato puree um, at this point and I'm just going to let this fry away with my peppers. So adding my tomato puree and I'm just going to fry this off. Now if you haven't got meat stock or chicken stock to use in this recipe, it doesn't matter i'm not using any um meat stock from the meat i've bought because i don't have any so i'm not using any for this recipe um so i'm just going to be using the normal ingredients and the normal this um spices to just make sure that my jollof rice is rich and is nice so don't worry if you haven't got your chicken stock from your cooked chicken or your meat stock from your meat to use for jollof rice if you've got it it makes it nicer as well but if you haven't you still get your beautiful jollof rice either way so let's just get cooking as you can see my sauce is coming together nicely and this is what you want what you want is this rich tomato based sauce and you want it to just fry nicely and you want to combine all your beautiful ingredients and you want the flavor to come together and you can see the color has changed and this is your base for your jollof rice when you if you get this right at this stage of the process then your jollof rice is nice so i'm just going to add water to my sauce and i'm just going to mix together at this point you can taste so you taste this for you know for the flavor and i'm adding the rest of my chicken stock and i'm just going to mix and then i'm going to taste it if you then need to adjust your seasoning you know let it boil and then taste it and you can then adjust and see if you need more so this is just perfect i don't need to add anything so i'm just gonna leave it, leave it to boil now i've my water is now boiling nicely my sauce is there and the rice is ready i've washed my rice really really thoroughly because you want to wash away the starch in your rice so i've washed it really 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 good and that's it so it's going in now into my sauce and as you can see what you want to do at this point is to then put your cooking put it on a low heat so you want to reduce the heat completely because what you need with your jollof rice is just your heat so i'm going to reduce the heat again if you want to taste for seasoning if you want to taste for more um you know um, spices this is the time to do it and so i'm gonna put foil on my jollof rice and I just want it to steam so I don't want it to, to be released. So I'm just going to cover that up and I'm going to reduce the heat and just let it cook. And that's after 30 minutes. This is what I've come up with. And you can see, amazing. That's so <clears throat> beautiful. This is what you have. And this is the beautiful, rich jollof rice that is coming up and the smell oh so what you've just done is just allow your jollof rice to steam away nicely and then just taste it if it's not stuffed enough then put the lid back on and then give it another five to ten minutes to steam up again 
so look at that i'm just mixing all my sauce together in with the rice and you can see the beautiful color that is just coming out like this is just really really nice beautiful absolutely beautiful it's my jollof rice yes and my jollof rice is ready so you want to taste you know you want to make sure it's soft enough and for this it's just soft it's perfect and i don't have to do anything else my jollof rice is actually just ready and remember the tomatoes i set aside at the beginning i'm just going to garnish <clears throat> with the tomatoes and i'm just going to mix together at this stage i'm not cooking i've stopped cooking i've stopped the heat under my jollof rice i'm just mixing the tomatoes in and that's it my jollof rice is done and it's ready and look at that beautiful beautiful jollof rice wow amazing color rich tasty full of flavor is just beautiful a go-to at any point in time absolutely amazing so remember to like my videos remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you've tried my recipes please share with me let me know your thoughts as well and let me know the dishes you would like me to cook and yes 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 is sparkles kitchen where the secret ingredient is sparkles keep smiling keep eating jollof fries we can't get enough of this see you again next time it's sparkles kitchen bye for now